Okay, so in the last episode we talked about finding the location and we found the perfect house for our film which would cost us around $4,000. Now we had to make a decision because we kind of calculated that we would need around $30,000 for the entire film including a little bit marketing and distribution. So we were looking at $30,000 micro budget film. Now, we had two choices. Either we could try to do a um, Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign and ask friends and family and try to raise $30,000. And that's not an easy thing to do. And we all have done short films before. We already asked our friends to support us and family. So it's only that many times you want to go back and ask for money, right? And feature film, of course, it's a, it's a bigger project than just a short film for two or three thousand you know now we need ten times more money so we we thought okay either we do a campaign and try to raise the money in different ways until we have thirty thousand and then we start the movie or we finance every phase separately we raise a little money for development then we raise a little bit money for production then we raise a, little, raise a little bit more money for post-production and then we raise a little bit more for marketing and distribution. So a step deal, you know. And of course that's a little bit risky because you never know if you're going to get stuck, whatever. But we all believed in the script, we believed we had a good location and we believed in the entire project and we believed in us, you know. So we made a decision, kind of like a leap of faith. We decided, okay, we need to lock in this location we already have found and we, we, we booked this location for two months ahead and we had to cough up 4,000. Now we made the decision that each of us, we were three producers and Peter, my wife and me. So we decided that we're going to put in a few thousand dollars ourselves so we could get the location. So that's what we did. So we paid $4,000, not even having done the casting yet, not even having any crew or, or nothing. Just like the only thing we had was, you know, the location and the script. But the interesting thing happened because every time we talked to somebody, we were now able to say, okay, we got the script, we got the location already paid for, we got the director, we got the cinematographer, we get one of the actors already. And, and we're definitely gonna do this film project. And we really came across like, when people were listening to us like, oh yeah, this, this project is actually gonna happen. I mean, they have the location, they have the script, they have the director, they're on their way. And it was much easier to then ask family, hey, now we're doing a, a feature film, it's gonna happen to give us another thousand bucks here and two thousand bucks there. So we raised a little bit more and then um, and that's how we secured the location and now of course the work really started because now the time was clicking you know ticking we we had to do storyboards and all that stuff we're gonna get into that a little later but so we had the location booked we knew in two months everything has to be ready to be filmed and we had to start casting and that's what we're gonna talk about in the next episode until then choose